beautiful. Good mo oh, you can't even see me. Hold on. There we go. You can see me. Good morning, beautiful people. It is a lovely, windy, rainy, miserable day here in the UK, but I'm loving it because if you kept up with my previous two vlogs, I was in Bali for three weeks, and don't get me wrong, I love the hot weather, the fruit, oh my god, I've never eaten so much fruit in my life, the mangoes out there were just... But, a huge part of me, actually all of me, is so grateful to be back, yeah, back in my own kitchen, back in my element where I can just whip up cosy, delicious, vegan food and stuff, you know? I'm starting my day with some chamomile tea, which, to be honest, I drink because Obviously, you know, it's calming, it's good for anxiety, but is it just placebo effect? Because I feel like it actually does make me a lot calmer, even when things that are a lot stronger don't. I don't know, either way, it works. But yeah, I've just definitely missed making simple, delicious food, even things like roasted sweet potatoes and quinoa and even oatmeal. I mean, when the hell do I crave oatmeal? Like, never, apart from now. So, so yeah, as much as I enjoy being away and just eating whatever, whenever, it's so nice to be back and just to be preparing like very balanced, delicious vegan meals. Anyway, speaking of comforting starchy stuff, I am starting my day off with this bowl of, I've got some overnight oats in here, which I made with just oats, almond milk, a scoop of the Madagascan vanilla protein powder from Vivo Life, and I've said this before, that I am one of those people that even though I love oats, like I could eat oats breakfast, lunch and dinner, but they just make me so sleepy. For me, it's like taking a Valium. I will just eat oats and then just pass. And it's funny because for years I thought it was just me and then I obviously said it in a video and everyone was like, me too. But yeah, one thing that definitely helps to take away that drowsy effect, for me anyway, is to soak your oats first. So just like, you can soak them in water, almond milk, cashew milk, whatever you want, just for a few hours, or you can do it at night and then it's ready for you in the fridge in the morning. And also, I've said this before as well, but adding in protein really helps to blunt that kind of massive serotonin kick that oats give you that make you sleepy, so yeah. So yeah, if you want to eat oats, but like stay energized both mentally and physically and not get that like coma afterwards, soak them and add protein. Um, in this beautiful bowl, I have also got some persimmon, persimmon, I know a lot of people like them very squishy. I like them with a little bit of bite to them. I have an aversion to squishy things. I've talked about this before. Anyways, yeah, I love persimmons. They're like my top three fruits. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a story time about persimmons, persimmons, anyway. Um, one time I ate so many of them. I was eating like 10 to 15 a day. Don't ask why. And I literally went orange, like bright orange. I know, I, I know I'm a bit orange right now as well, but that's actually from the sun. Then I have got a Granny Smith apple. I, I very rarely go for Granny Smiths, but the persimmons are like intensely sweet and it's nice to have something like a little bit sour and tart to go with it. I've also got some fresh rasps, some desiccated coconut, and a big ass drizzle of good runny almond butter. And the almond butter that I currently use is if you're in the UK, get the one from Asda. It's the cheapest one. I think it's like £1.70. And it's in a glass jar, and it's runny as hell. It's like a river. I was a little bit depressed when I came back, because I thought, do you know what? Do you know what, yeah? This time of year in the UK, you're just not gonna get any good, like, good sweet fruit. But the persimmon are coming through right now, so. I did try and make this bowl, <laughs> tried my best, to make it pretty for Instagram before I demolish it. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just healthy, crazy, cool, if you want to keep up with my daily antics, because I know I only post on here once a week. And that's all you're getting, so stop complaining. Look at me trying to be all, like, ethical with my bamboo spoon, which is not going to work in this situation. Do you know when you're just, like, so excited to dive into your food? That's me right now. So I'm gonna go happily apply to face, and I was gonna tell you what I'm making for lunch, but you have to wait and see, so cheers. I've missed oats so much. And also, I'm gonna take my daily dose of B12. Like I've said before, if you're a vegan, you need to supplement with B12. It's not optional. There's no question about it. Take your damn B12. So yeah, the one I take is the one from Vivo Life. They've just come out with their full supplement range. Omega-3, B12, D3, all of that good stuff. All right, guys, so for l Okay, I am focused. All right, for lunch, I am whipping up a... Do you know what? The best thing for, pe for people that are lazy is to roast up a big tray of your favorite veggies, starches, chickpeas, etc. Uh, toss them in a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and 
like even though it's a bit tedious sometimes to wait 45 minutes for veggies to roast I mean depending on how big you cut them and stuff or what or what blah, 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 or what veggies they are while they're in the oven you don't have to do anything so if you're a lazy person like me two three times a week just roast up a big tray of your favorite veggies and starches and then when it comes to snacks o'clock there's nothing better than just like a nice caramelized cold sweet potato from the fridge dunked in hummus you know what I mean. So yeah, when you're roasting things, always just roast extra. Um, number one, it saves, I was gonna say it saves electricity. Look at me, ethical king. Just roast up as much as you can, as much as will fit on the tray. And then you've always got veggies, nice, sweet, caramelized veggies to throw out your meals as needed. I was gonna make my quinoa and red lentil stew for lunch, but then I changed my mind, then I changed it again, and then I changed it back again. So I guess we are having a big, colorful Buddha bowl crispy chickpeas, vegetables galore, nice tahini dressing. By the way, your comments about my haul being like the cleanest haul in the world just give me life because I take pride in having the cleanest haul in the world. I'm very obsessive about it. Little bit of salt. A lot of bit of salt, and pepper, a little bit of sweet smoked paprika, mm, love it, and some olive oil. I just wanted to pop in and say, while well, the stuff's in the oven, I don't know how you guys guessed, but the other day on my Instagram story, where I showed you like I'd had a tattoo on my arm, but it was like covered in the bandage thing And I was like guess what it is 50% of you guessed exactly what it was which really surprised me because by the way It's not tahini or tahini king. I know that would have been the most obvious thing But it's something that I've wanted for so long But I've never spoken about and I didn't think it would be that obvious, but clearly clearly you guys know me a lot better than I Think you do or maybe even better than I know myself Grand finale, we need a good drizzle of liquid gold. Mm. Would you look at that? Mm. All right guys, so here is the final result. At the bottom of this bowl, I've got one head of romaine and a mix of tender leaf greens. And then as you can see, all of these Beautifully caramelized roasted sweet potatoes, carrots, zucchini, red bell pepper. The chickpeas are perfectly crisp. I can just roast up batches of these and eat them as snacks, like late night snacks. And some red pickled cabbage, some edamame for extra protein, big dollop of good creamy hummus, and then a drizzle of liquid gold as per usual, and a little bit of sriracha for some kick as well. I cannot wait. To dive in. Do you know what's funny? Like, <laughs> it's funny I spent like 10 minutes trying to make this bowl look presentable when in real life I would honestly probably just like eat this off the tray and happily apply to face. Cheers. Once again, I have outdone myself. Also, one thing I will say about the roasted veggies is the paprika, the sweet smoked paprika, literally takes these to a different level. I also love roasting them in turmeric and cinnamon. Anyways, I'm gonna go munch and you guys know what's coming next. Also, um, I will say about the nut butter reviews, and you can hold me accountable to this, from now on I'm only gonna review and promote nut butters and seed butters that are in glass jars, so yeah. Anyways, see you then. Mm. All right guys, I have one nut butter to share with you today. This one is from a brand called Bunts, which I've never heard of before, but my girl Anna hooked me up with this one. She's always hooking me up with the good nut butters. Uh, only reason I love her, and she knows that too. If any of you guys have tried this brand before, let me know down below, but I don't know where this has come from, it's just popped out from nowhere. Basically, this is coffee walnut nut butter, which you all know I love walnuts, you all know I love coffee, do I love them together? We'll find out. So yeah, this is called espresso nut butter, made with California walnuts. Right, so the ingredients are California walnuts, cashew nuts, 
To be honest, that's a bit cheeky because we all know walnuts are hella expensive and they've bulked it up with a cheaper nut. But anyways, I'm not complaining yet. Fair trade Sumatran Arabica, Arabic, Arabica, Arabica, espresso beans, vanilla extract, contains caffeine and a plant-based source of omega-3 essential fatty acids. All right, so this doesn't have any salt in it, which is a bit of a red flag, but you can always add your own, so yeah. I f uh, <laughs> All right, look at that. As always, oil on top, sludge at the bottom. But like I always say, guys, if, if the end result is worth it, I don't mind a five minute churn. In fact, these days, I'm so bloody used to it, I find it quite therapeutic. It's just like my default position, nut butter churning. After five minutes of churning, that is still as thick as sludge. As you can see, does this happen always with walnut butter? I don't know if I have reviewed walnut butter before. If I have, if anyone knows, let me know down below. Quite surprising considering walnuts have a lot of oil in them, but anyways, in we go. Do you know what, right off the bat, I'm not impressed with this texture, but let's see how it tastes. Cheers. <clears throat> All right guys, do you know what? To be honest, my taste buds are a little bit confused. You definitely get a lot of like walnutty flavor, which is good. Don't really taste the cashews. The coffee flavor is very prominent. Yeah, flavor, good. Texture, a pile. Do you know what, I need another mouthful. It is very confusing, but I like it. Anyways, I'll see you at dinner. So this is my red lentil and quinoa stew recipe. It's an easy one pot meal, so full of flavor, very high in protein, very healthy. Start by frying off a large diced white onion and some carrots. Season well with salt, pepper, and then for the spices, I'm using turmeric, cumin, and cinnamon. Once the veggies start to soften, I'm adding in one cup of red lentils, one cup of dry quinoa, and then just give everything a good mix so that everything is nicely coated with the spices and all the flavor and stuff. Then I'm adding in a whole bag of kale. Don't worry, it does wilt down. One can of chopped tomatoes and some veggie stock. Stir everything well, turn the heat down to low and leave it to simmer for about 25 minutes. And I'll leave the full recipe with all the measurements and ingredients, etc., in the description box down below. All right guys, so this is the final result. I'm not gonna lie, it came out a lot thicker than I normally make it. Normally it's a bit more like a stew. This is a bit more like a curry. But nevertheless, the flavors are even more like intense, I guess because it's more condensed. I don't know, the flavor is just bomb. Um, yeah, I know it looks a bit like a splat, but trust me, it's a very, very tasty and very healthy high protein splat that you're gonna want in your life. And like I said, make a big batch of this. You can keep it in the fridge, warm it up. It's the best lunch ever, best dinner. But it does need, <laughs> it does need a little drizzle of liquid gold. Okay, that's that's not enough at all. Round number two. And also, I'm gonna put some lovely squishy Haas avocado on top. Avocado. Haven't had any avocado today. A bit strange, considering it's late at night. And there you go. I guess when it's, yeah, and there you go. I don't know, this is... I don't know, to me, this is just the epitome of comfort food. It's hot, it's spicy, there's lots of flavor, lots of different textures. You get like the hot spiced curry stroke stew and then like the buttery cold avocado along with it. Also, I don't know, there's something very comforting about just having a bowl where you only need a spoon to kind of scoop it in and send it down the chute. You know, you can just kick back, put your feet up, watch some trashy TV or some trashy things on YouTube, like Healthy Crazy Cool, and just spoon your way through and happily apply to face. <laughs> Guys, it's been a hot minute since I've done an outro here. I used to do it all the time, like every video. But anyways, just wanted to say, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. And yeah, as always, I'm sending you all so much love and I'll see you on the next video. Laters.